Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to add UTM Easting and UTM Northing in ArcGIS. Suppose you are having data in UTM zone and you're interested to add this data into ArcGIS environment. How we can able to add this that we're going to see. So for that, what we'll do, we'll go to ArcGIS. Okay. First, you will see here there is an unknown unit. First, we need to set an environment that is having a UTM environment. Okay. So here we should know what UTM zone we are working. So like this file is belong to 45 UTM zone. So I'll add 45 UTM zone here first. Okay. So for that, this layer option is there. Once you'll select this layer and right click, you will see the properties option. In the properties option, there is an option that is a coordinate system. Okay. So in the coordinate system, what we need to do, we need to go to projected coordinate system. After that, there is a UTM and this is WGS 1984 and it is in Northern Hemisphere. So I will select UTM zone 45. So this file is belong to 45. So I will select an UTM zone 45 and I will click on apply and click on OK. So now you can able to see this is changed to meter now. It is converted into UTM format. So what we can able to do, we can add this file. Okay. So to add this file, we'll save this file into CSV file format. So whatever your Excel file is there, you just need to click on the file, save as, and we have to save this file in the folder we are working. So I'll save here. And I will add here as a CSV file format. Okay. CSV. And I will add name here, UTM file CSV. Okay. And just click on the save. So now we have saved this file in CSV file format. So here we can able to see the CSV file we have saved. This file will open in ArcGIS environment. So just we'll go to ArcGIS. Then option is there file. In the file, there is an option add data and add XY data. So from here, we need to browse our file. So in this file, if you'll see, there is a file name is a CSV. Okay. So you just need to go to your desired location where you have kept your file. After that, you will see this CSV file is there. Okay. We just save the CSV file and just click on the add option is here. Okay. So here we need to select an UTM Easting. And in Y, we need to select UTM nothing. So usually we select a longitude here and latitude here. And after that, it is optional. And it is by default taking UTM zone 45 because we already set the environment. So after that, just click on the OK. Once you click on the OK, again, table does not have an object ID field. So you just click on the OK. And you will see this file is added here. OK. What are the lat long we have selected? that lat long file is added here. So we can export this file. If I'll right click open attribute table. So this file is in CSV file format. We need to export this file into shape file format. So just right click data and export data option is there. So you just select a location where you want to save this file. So I'm working in this folder UTM Excel. So I will save here as a UTM shape file. Just click on the save and just click on the OK. Do you want to add exported data to the map as a layer? Just click on the S. So now you can able to see we have exported this into our shape file format. And if you want to see the location, you just need to add a base map. It is going to right place or not that you can able to check by using this satellite image you can add into background. And from that, you can able to check whether your file is added accurately or not. One more thing you can able to do, you can able to use this converter tool is there. Okay. So UTM to lat long converter is there. So suppose you just need to go to Google and search UTM to lat long converter. In this UTM to lat long converter, you just need to add easting, nothing. And you just need to select your UTM zone. And once you'll click on the convert, you can able to see your 
accurate latitude and longitude okay so like here i will go I'll just click on the right click zoom to layer so now you can able to see what are the point we have added it is, um, it is coming in the right place we can increase the size of it so that we can able to visualize this place and if you want to see the latitude and longitude of this you can convert it okay what is the easting and nautic like just you can copy this and you can able to convert this and you can able to check your lat long okay so suppose you want to see a lat long so just add here easting and then copy the northing and add here your utm zone and convert it so now we can able to see this converted into decimal degree as well and degree made second as well okay so this way very easily we can able to add this utm file into arcgis environment so now if you want to convert this into degree decimal that also you can able to do so for that what you can able to do you just need to go to data management tool and there is a projection and transformation and you can select a project file is there okay we can convert this file into wgs 1984 so just add this file so this is my input data or feature class after that output data set or feature class i need to select means where i have to save this file so i will select an output location so i'm working here so i will add here as a re project i'm doing and this time i'm saving as a wgs okay so i'm saving this file as a wgs 1984 so you just need to go geographical coordinate system world and wgs 1984 okay and just click on okay so what we are doing we are converting this utm zone file into degree decimal how we can able to check it is converted or not so previous file if you'll see this file is in utm zone but the file which we are going to convert now that will show wgs 1984 okay so still it is in progress i think it is completed so we'll add this file we'll go to the desired location where we have saved so here i have reprojected this i'll just add here and if you'll see the properties of this you will see it is converted into wgs 1984 and this file we can able to calculate the latitude and longitude so we just need to add a field by the name of x you can select as a float and again we'll add a field as a y and select a float then just select it right click then option is there calculate geometry here you can select x coordinate okay and here we can able to select a y coordinate this way very easily you can able to convert this utm lat long to decimal degree so we can cross verify also as well so previously you can able to see it is coming some 86 degree 14 okay so 86 degree and here you can able to see the 23 so same way we can able to see how we can able to add this and how we can able to convert this utm lat long into degree decimal so it is very easy if you are having any doubts or any question in any step you can ask me in the comment sections thank you